In October of 2022, which was about seven months ago now, I walked out that same door, I came around here, and I basically showed you the project that was started, and it prompted me to do something which was save what we now call the wall tree. You see, our retaining wall along the side of the property here uh, looked just like this. It was tipped over, it was angled, and it was in definite need of replacement. So they started the project, and when they started the project, somewhere around here, uh, there was a tree growing out of the wall. Knowing that tree wasn't going to survive, I decided to take it upon myself to try to take the tree out with as much of the root ball that I could and transplant it on the other side of the property. Here's what that looked like. It's a very delicate process. All right, ladies and gents, the moment you were waiting for, yes, it appears that Wall Tree survived the winter. Again, I did that transplant in the end of October, very early November. The tree was very green. It was growing very well out of that little crack, that little hole in the wall. So when I dug it out, I took the root ball, I came over here and I planted it along the, the property line here. And as you can see, uh, Wall Tree is looking really good. Now I will say there are some spots on the bottom that did turn a little brown over the winter. As a matter of fact, over the winter, the whole tree almost turned like a burgundy type brown color. I'm trying to find a spot. You know, it's hard, to, it's hard to say, sort of like this here. Like if you looked at this section right here, this brownish type color, the whole tree was sort of that color. And in my mind, I thought to myself, I don't know if this tree is gonna make it, but I was told I did it in a time when a tree was probably dormant and hopefully it would, it would take and it would last. Um, when I first did the transplant, I would come out here every day and water it. I kept it watered pretty good for, I would say, about a week, week and a half. Then we had gotten some rain and stuff like that, and then that was it. I just left it. About a month ago, in early April, maybe, um, maybe like four weeks ago or so, I got a couple of fertilizer spikes, and I put two fertilizer spikes in the dirt and uh, watered it a little bit, and then we got a bunch of rain. So in the last, uh, last two weeks especially, we had a lot of rain, and... The tree got a lot greener. It was a lot a, a lot more, um, like I said, a burgundy-ish or a brownish color. Still sort of out of whack as far as its shape. It's really leaning the way it was when it came out of the wall, I guess based on how I planted it. But in any event, I just wanted to update you that the wall tree is looking good and uh, I think she's gonna thrive here in her new home. What I'm really hoping for is one day in you know 10 years I come back and this tree's standing you know, six, seven feet tall. That would be awesome. And it's, listen, it's something that was just a small thing to do, right? The tree was just gonna get tossed aside. It was gonna get destroyed. What's the harm in trying to transplant it, put it in the earth and let it grow? And to the gentleman in the comments of the original video who said it would be in a dumpster within six weeks, you, my friend, were wrong. <laughs>